was sitting in my hotel room watching the news When I saw an unnatural disaster occurring in East Palestine, oh wow A train had derailed and spilled toxic chemicals into the area Which really isn't that far from where I am in the 313 I couldn't help but feel for the residents of the surrounding areas And wanted to do something to assist in the cleanup efforts So I rented a car with an engine and transmission and drove there It became immediately apparent that the EPO would not allow an ordinary civilian to get near the cleanup site And I was brought back by some National Guardsmen But I didn't bring a new supply of Linux and magic erasers for nothing I snuck around and found the spot where the train derailed it Looked like they had attempted to burn everything in sight I began my tedious quest of cleaning up the area by scrubbing one train car at a time But as the hours passed I began to feel sick and eventually passed out I woke up in a hospital somewhere on an army base with doctors probing my penis And again it might have just been a catheter They explained to me that the chemicals I had been exposed to had caused me to develop micro tumors in my spinal cord at an alarming rate And I would never walk again I told the doctor shut the fuck up and to get these tubes out of me That I fell fine and to prove them wrong I immediately got out of bed and flew through the ceiling Wait, I can't fly, I can't fucking fly people Turns out those chemicals gave me magical powers for my comprehension And now I can do a number of things I had no idea could be possible Now I'm super shady my dominion, but how will I use my newfound powers? I immediately went back to the crash site and used my tornado lungs to suck in all of the toxic debris that had been spilled into East Palestine. Okay, I may have felt a little sick after that. I had to take a wicked shit, but I was awarded the Medal of Freedom from the President of the United States. Even though I'm pretty sure I had been setting off the missile defense system since I started flying. But for every force of good comes an equal counterbalance of evil. And immediately a groundswell of super villains started to manifest from the same oh well catastrophe as I did. The first of which was surprisingly a woman, which might sound a bit sexist. But you just don't hear of that many super villains who are women in the comics, right? And she was kind of attractive. So my first instinct was to try and seduce her. But she wasn't having it and kicked me directly in the testicles. Which despite my superpowers still rendered me in an undesirable amount of pain So I had to go against my primal instincts and slap a bitch down Now I'm a little new to the superhero game and don't really know all the powers I have yet But apparently again pick up really heavy objects and throw them And that was sufficient for the purposes of taking down this particular individual However I knew that later villains would not be as easy to deal with and I would need to hold my prize I went to the only person I knew would understand my predicament and sought the sage advice of Stan Lee Only to discover that he was dead To be frank, I never read that many comic books as a child due to economic hardship And as an adult, I couldn't be bothered to read them because I'm not a complete nerd So I just went to Newberry Comics and bought out the entire collection of graphic novels Within a few hours, I had finished them all Because apparently speed reading is now one of my powers What I learned is that I should have exactly one major weakness for my enemies to explode Which they Thankfully, I already know it's being kicked squarely in the testicles. As long as I wear a cup, I'll be invisible. Like Marky Mark in that football movie nobody watched. I continue fighting off super villains left and right, making the world a safer place. Till I came across my most dangerous enemy yet. Bobby Hill, the testicle kicker extraordinaire. He can crush any jock strap with the swiftest of kicks. One day I came across him at the hall and more shoplifting the coffee of grand that propane. When I tried to apprehend him, he went on caring on me. That's my purse! My hands cuffing my balls I had been defeated by a 30 year old boy There's no way I could carry on in my present condition I flew away but like I was in a GM car slip mode Cruising over America at about 15 kilometers per hour After several days of travel I made it back to my hotel room and immediately retired And now those super villains run rampant throughout the country But thankfully others have stepped up where I have failed Because no one remembers Super Shady anymore And it's all about him in now Whoever the fuck he is Shit, I never returned